Hello, welcome to the All You Lakefront Film Show. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, thank you for tuning in, and we hope you enjoy today's podcast. It is Monday, September 9th. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Marvel and DC and their future in uh, the cinematic universes. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's basically Spider-Man split from the MCU. Yeah, that that's tragic. Uh, before we do that, we're going to talk about uh, ourselves. Oh yes, ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a new podcast uh, for Olu students and this anyone. First episode, yeah. Anyone who loves uh, to watch films or you know participates in filmmaking, all all the like. Yeah, all the like. <laughs> All right, so I'm Amadeo Rivas. Uh, I'm one of the hosts here at the podcast. I'm the only host here at the podcast. Uh, I am also one of the hosts here at the podcast. Yes. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, wh- <laughs> uh, a little bit about myself. I've been a student filmmaker for about five years now. Started out at Northeast School of the Arts, which was a magnet program within uh, Legacy of Educational Excellence High School, which was originally Robert E. Lee High School. It, it's it's yeah. a whole thing. Um so uh, I'm, I'm from here, San Antonio, and I've worked on over 300 short films. I've come from a musical family, and I'm a fifth-generation San Antonian. Nice. And on to my, uh, my sidekick here. Counterpart. Um, sure. <laughs> my name is Daniel Munoz. Uh, I'm from El Paso, Texas, and um, I started film. I, st- I actually got interested in film whenever I was in a, in a theater class. Started learning about like all the practical things like makeup. I started watching a few films that they needed. Um, for uh, you know a middle school theatrical class and uh, I was like how do they make that movie and um, I, I moved to Germany for a few a few years and in my freshman year of high school I joined a film a film club a film class um, thinking I could you know become a youtuber do the youtuber esque thing because I was um, growing my life changed as soon as I got into that classroom they taught us how to construct a film, how to compose a film, things like that. Things I never really thought about. Uh, and I, I, I got interested in it, and I started just um, taking classes ever since then. So um, from my freshman year to my senior year in high school, yeah, I was in audiovisual productions. Ooh. Yeah, so my last year was a um, practicum. That's what they call it. Practicum? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it was fun. I participated in a few, uh, a few, a few. Things. How do you call it? Competitions like Skills oh, like, USA, like film, like Forty Eight Hour Film Festival. Yeah, exactly, those oh. are fun. Yeah, they have some of that here in San Antonio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those are fun. Uh, but whenever I get into college, it's like every weekend is like that, which is which, <laughs> which is cool, you know. Um, I've only placed second in Skills USA, and I didn't place in a horror film because I participated in El Paso Horror. Um, which I didn't place in that. That was a s- mm-hmm. high school oriented competition. Um, but yeah, I. That's, that's, that's how the I story came into of, this. of your life, man. That is my origin story. Man, that was what was it like an eight hour drive over here? Yeah, it was an eight hour drive over here. Yeah, I, I used to like go out with my family all the time, and my grandfather was uh, he he would make it a twelve hour drive because he was a very slow driver. Jeez. I know. It's like it was. I had to. I remember like my, one of my first trips. Uh, I had the entire DVD set to Seinfeld, and I just watched. Yeah. I just watched Seinfeld for twelve hours straight. Seinfeld for twelve hours. Dude. Well, you can't Dude. get bored off. Of it Seinfeld. was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you can't get. You can't, can't get, get bored off of. You can't Seinfeld. get bored off of Seinfeld. All right, so uh, let's let's go unravel about the Spider-Man. So basically, Disney. Here it comes. Disney uh, only made. Five percent of the profits from Spider-Man: Far From Home, and so they wanted to talk to Sony and say, "Hey, man, can we get you know fifty percent?" Which is a jump. Agreeably. It's a very big flipping jump. <laughs> we'll edit that out. <laughs> no, yeah, it's a, it's a very big jump. Like, um, you, you should probably work it up. Like, I, obviously, we aren't like we don't own Disney. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's but like they could have asked for ten percent yeah. at least. Because, um... Because it's a scary number. I know, but, like, Sony... I, th- I feel like Sony tried... Like, they tried to, like, say, hey, we'll give you a little bit of it, but, like, not all of it. I mean, to be fair, they made at least $1 billion off of Spider-Man Far From Home. Disney. 
Yeah, no, uh, no, no, no. Sony in general. Sony. Like the box office, like they made uh, one billion dollars, right? And so, basically, what happened after that? Uh, Disney only made five hundred thousand, five hundred million dollars, which I think is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. But like to them, it's like. Nah. Yeah, because it's like. For for one person, that's a lot of money. But for you know Disney. Yeah, and now Sony's gonna make their own little Marvel universe. Like, but with what heroes? You only have Spider Man and a bunch of villains. Spider Man cinematic universe. Spider Man. You know? cin- I, I think Tom Holland's still gonna be Spider Man, right? Um. Yeah, I think he is, and that's actually pretty cool because I think they can branch out into like like the Spider Verse and stuff. The like Spider Verse. What they did. There, I like what they did there. Yeah. Man, you know what'd be cool if Tobey w- Maguire came back. Yeah. Or if he played Uncle Ben. He if could. He, if he was just part of it in general. It'd yeah. Be cool. You know how in um. What was it? The new Spider Verse movie with Miles, uh, the older version. That he could have played that part, you know, Tobey Maguire. Yeah, yeah, but He'd okay. Have, he would have fit. All right, okay. When it comes down to Spider Man, uh, I was oh, I forgot. Oh, it, how do you Marvel. feel? Marvel. <laughs> how do I feel? I feel like Marvel should have like said something and not let Disney talk for them. And yeah. then, uh, basically. I don't think they're going to be successful in 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 the MCU is not going to be successful with Tom Holland. I mean, they are going to be very successful. They're going to get a lot of like peep ratings and all that stuff, especially their new TV shows coming out. But um, like, it's not going to be the same. Like, yeah. nobody's going to. I, I I guess Cap- Captain Marvel's pretty famous, but like, yeah. I mean, they're changing it up. People don't like Brie Larson. <laughs> I mean, arguably yes. People... I mean, I don't hate her. She's yeah. great. She's in a good actor. She's a great actress. Uh, she was awesome and phenomenal in the room. She she deserved an Oscar for that. It, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. If she won an Oscar, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't watch <laughs> the Oscars. I I don't pay attention to Brie Larson. Um, I know that. I I agree with this concept that I'm about to propose. Uh, that uh, the Marvel universe is um making win- women like sh- like stronger in in media. You know what I mean? I mean yeah was... yeah because every because like in uh, both Avengers movies they're like don't worry she has help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I think I think it's I that's a successful you know, that's a successful like um, business model like you know, pursuing like uh, something that's different. But you know DC already did it. DC did it with Wonder Woman. DC, DC, DC man. They're yeah. oh no, <laughs> dude. Okay, so I I I I remember when I watched um, Superman, The Man of Steel, and um, like. As a, it came out when I was like what eleven years old or thirteen? I don't know. I forgot. Were you? I don't know. It, it, did it come out in like two thousand eleven? Was born in two thousand. Superman. I could look at. Anyways, up. Man of Steel. <laughs> so like, I enjoyed it, and then like it didn't. It took until like what twenty fifteen to make an, another movie. Yeah. Like Superman, Don, Superman versus Batman, Dawn of Justice, and that was okay. Yeah, not uh, a lot of people like Wonder it. Wo- Wonder Woman was great. My father actually hated it because um, it, he, I don't know. I guess he just doesn't like women. I mean, it was great. Actually, um, Wonder Woman. Okay, that's crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna. <laughs> um, Woo! But uh, no, yeah. That I mean, they're trying to change. Uh, you know, the social. You know, yeah. norm, norms. The social like, norms of it. The man's yeah. supposed to be the strong one, but. Um, well, they did have a TV show starring Linda Carter in the seventies, which was also Wonder Woman, which is kind of like women yeah. empowerment. That's good, you know. Yeah, it is great. Uh, I like what they did with Shazam. I'm very especially excited what they're gonna do with Joker this October. Hell, I mean, yes, dude, that that's incredible. Like, I love the thing I love about DC is that, like Shazam and Joker, like look at that, like super pretty, dark, yeah. really fun. Isn't it, like I think Joker's gonna be rated R. Yeah, it's gonna be rated R, and oh, then and heck then, yeah, that's something Marvel can't do. Yeah, they, like Marvel is kind of like its own like, it's like an in between. It doesn't dive deep into darkness or you know yeah. light funniness. You know, it has great light moments. Yeah, that's why that's what DC's for. Is, I mean, they made DC like, they published Watchmen. Man. Yeah, Watch Watchmen dude. was like awesome, dude. It was. You know, you know Rorschach, the actor, the guy that played the uh, the actor that played Rorschach, right? Yeah. He actually lives in San Antonio. He does. I didn't yeah, know that. he's a resident here. It's insane. So is Army Hammer because his uh, his wife owns like a cupcake store here. Yeah. Yeah. We should go scope him out. <laughs> I'm no. joking. No. <laughs> what else? Edward James almost and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so let's look at the outline. Um. So we talked about Tom Holland. Yeah, like. I don't know. He was supposed to be the next Iron Man. 
but <laughs> quotation <laughs> <anymore>. marks. <laughs> Not anymore, dude. And, and that's kind of the reason why I personally feel like like they lost their Iron Man for the next generation. Oh, well, then again, it was he was not supposed to be the next Iron Man. I think that it was supposed to be Brie Larson because she's now the face of the MCU. Yeah. And I think... I I'm think, not even a Marvel fan. I'm going to be honest. I'm not a Marvel fan. I, 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 I know about the characters because I used to read the comics. That doesn't make me especially a fan. I just read the comics to you know, pass time as a kid. Mm-hmm. But like I'm a D, I'm a big DC fan. Like I was, I grew up with Batman the animated series, which was the bomb, dude. Yeah, dude. Honestly, was... DC has the greatest shows right now. Like it, like the Flash and Arrow and stuff like that. Yeah, like, the they C- have the good shows. And then, but... they, and then the C- they're produced by the CW. They're actually ending Arrow this next season. Oh, they are. Yeah, because Stephen Amell doesn't want to play Arrow anymore, and I understand because he's been doing it for almost ten years now. That's it's. It was pretty long. I mean, I know it was a nice. Coming run. out with a Batwoman show. Did you a see Batwoman the Batwoman show? Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't hear the about Batwoman that. Batwoman tra- show. The trailer is. I'm sorry. The trailer is trash. <laughs> it's uh, okay. So there's a certain degree to women empowerment, but they brought that to the max in this, and I think it's because the CW is the CW. The CW makes a lot of shows like Riverdale. Yeah. And Riverdale is just a whole other level. Have you seen an episode of Riverdale? Yeah, I've seen an episode of Riverdale. It's kind of dramatic. It's um, not kind of dramatic. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for all those Riverdale fans out there. Riverdale's a thing. Um, uh, I remember um, specifically, uh, what was it, Jughead? It was like, I'm yeah. weird. I'm a weirdo. I don't, I don't like doing normal things or something like that. <laughs> and? Like how? What? No, it's just like the context. I don't know. Quotation marks character development. Character development. Dude, I could have lost all my character development. <laughs> <sighs> um, Let's see. So why don't you like Star Wars? Why don't I like? Okay, here's something that you guys don't get the context of. I, I don't not like Star Wars. I just don't watch Star Wars. I, I guess, yeah. I mean, I how I, I am a, like a Wikipedia. I'm a Wikipedia for Star Wars. Star Wars. I love Star Wars. Going to the Old Republic, going to Clone Wars. <laughs> love that stuff, man. It's 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 like uh, I mean, I grew up with it, man. It's like I love it. Yeah, I, uh, I see that. Right now, I'm not too happy with the new movies. I'm really happy with Rogue One. I'm, I like Solo a lot. Um, I'm really excited for the Obi Wan uh, TV show and the Mandalorian and the Clone Wars. It's just the movies. The movies. The movies haven't been doing good so so far. I think it's I think it's the new sequel series. Like you got the Force Awakens, and then you have the Last Jedi, made by directed by Ryan Johnson, and that got a lot of hate. Mm-hmm. And I liked a lot of parts of it. Ryan Johnson, I love him as a director because he made one of my favorite films called Brick, and that right yeah. there yeah you never heard of it no uh, you, you'd like it you really like it i'll check it out <laughs> yeah yeah no basically it's like a he made he made this crime drama this noir film yeah. but it, it takes place in like the early 2000s and um uh, all the characters are all teenagers and they all speak like they're from the 1940s and it's so cool riverdale I'm just it's I'm not joking. riverdale <laughs> riverdale is another thing riverdale is more like uh I don't know how to describe Riverdale. I have my own opinions. I'm not going to say on, yeah. live, on live air. Yeah. But uh, one thing I am going to say about Riverdale is that on the second episode, the, f- the scene where Archie and Betty are walking down the street, the editing is so off. Mm. Like, the cuts. Like Have you heard of... What's that What's that show that people keep criticizing because of this one scene? Um, fully American or almost American or something like that? I have not heard of that. It's... Um, I have no idea American what it's American Caliber? Called. No, that's that's something completely different. Yeah. People love this American Caliber. No, but there's this, uh, there's this, I'll, I'll try to think of it. I don't have my phone, I can't search it, but, uh, it's basically, like, they cut, and they don't show any continuity at all, so, like, the wife will be next to the husband. <laughs> yeah, and then, like, the daughter's, like, behind her. Oh, heck yeah. They cut to, like, a close-up of the daughter, and she's in between them. Like, it's it's weird. I've always wanted to do this in a film where I'm, like, I'm in a conversation with somebody, and, I'll my char- and like, a character in the, in, the, in the scene will be like, wait, did you change the actors? And for, like, one shot, it's a guy, a different actor. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's something like they would do in chow. That's weird to reference, like chowder. That's something. Chowder. Like, yeah. Chowder. <laughs> chowder. <laughs> like. Um, Dude, chowder hasn't been on, hasn't like been on Cartoon Network for such a long time. You know, it's been almost. I think it almost ten years since chowder like has last been like on on TV. Really? Like just like new episodes and stuff because they got canceled. Yeah. Yeah. No. Those are great. Show, it was dude. A great like, show. Rada they did. Rada. They were. They did different things. Like you remember that episode where like they lost um, funding for pro like animation. Yeah, and dude. It was r- real life. No, no, cool. no. Okay, so Cartoon Network. Like I remember. Remember when Cartoon Network went through a, or do you remember when Cartoon Network went through a live action phase? I don't remember that. You don't remember Destroy Build Destroy? I do remember that. Like they were like, "I'm Andrew WK, and this is Destroy Bill Destroy." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then they had the, the the dude. What would happen? And then they would also have uh, what was it? Um, that ghost, like the teenagers that like do ghost hunting. I yeah. thought that was really cool. And they also had this other one. Ah, oh, I forgot the name of it, but it was like this adventure kid, this guy that like never like had a normal life, and like. He, like, went on all these adventures, like, in the world, and then, he, like, his parents make him actually go to high school. But there, he, he like, finds a bunch of, like, uh, he, like, he, like, f- finds a bunch of mysteries and clues to solve. It's really cool. Yeah. No, I, no, I, I remember some of the generic one, like, Destroy, Build, Destroy, that was a really big one. Yeah. Um. Andrew WK looks great right now. Does he? Yeah, he, he has not aged it together. A <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I don't remember that phase, and honestly, like, it never really interested me back then, like, you know, huh. the, uh, the, the IRL stuff. For me, it was just, like, the animation, so, like, what I was always watching was, like, Total Adventure Drama Time. Island? I did not like Total Drama Dude, Island. Dude, Total Drama either. Island was, uh, oh, man, I, I know that it was a Canadian-based show that aired on Cartoon Network, and I thought it was so, f- I thought it was funny as a kid growing up, but, uh, you know, okay, so, like, the TV shows that I specifically watch, other than Total Drama Island... Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Yeah. Uh, Codename Kids Next Door. That was great. Great that show. That was great. <laughs> and uh, Billy and Mandy. Billy and Mandy. Billy and Mandy. That was for me. I don't know why that was off-putting. That show was off-putting. I have no idea why. Um, it's kind of grungy to me. I. It's a fuzzy memory. Or Ben Ten. Not like almost all the Ben Ten series. Ben Ten was fun to watch. Dude, Ben Ten, uh, Ultimate Alien. That was yeah. so good. Oh man, that was a great <laughs> show. Oh yeah. gosh. Uh I feel like honestly just to get back to like the subject, like what we just talked about, like that's kind of like what anyone needs in like a big company, like especially film. Like we can remember like these things or not specifically, and we kind of can like hold on to that. And like whenever I'm working with you, like I could see some like the aspects of like what you what you like really like you yeah. know, from like media. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of uh, a lot of companies should really like hold on to that. Especially with this. This is like a really unfortunate event with like Spider Man. So like with Iron Man came out after Hulk Hulk. But um Hulk. Hulk. But uh it's we, German Hulk. We all we all uh, held on to him for a very long time, you know. We we held on to Iron Man. And, uh, you know, that's what made it really heartbreaking yeah. whenever he had to leave, you know. And then now Spider-Man. He didn't have to leave. You know, Robert Downey Jr. didn't want to leave because he didn't want to do it anymore. Could you imagine, like, just only being known for one role? That's... what. Well, there's a specific term for that. I forgot what it was. It's a term. It's a word. I don't know There's either. a term for it. Yeah. Um, no, but, yeah, it's something like they do with... Um, I think of I can't think of anyone off the top of my head. Uh, I wish Chris Evans would would still be Captain America. Chris Evans, I've seen Chris Evans in a lot of other. Films. Yeah, no, no, I I seen him in uh, I remember he played like this really cool like uh, he played like this act he played an actor, uh, in uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the World. You're right. Where he's like, I got I got a skateboard. Oh yeah, the skateboard Hollywood dude. Yeah, I remember skateboard that. Hollywood dude. I remember, yeah. Oh, I wish I, fr- I wish I remembered his name. Oh man. Oh, but you know what? That's that that brings him back to the freaking track, like like uh, Michael Sarah. Like he's always the like he's a different character, but he's always like the same. He's kind always of Michael Sarah. Yeah, he's always Michael, Michael Sarah is playing Michael <laughs> Sarah. He's always just like, hey, I don't know, like I guess so. And then he Are plays like sure? a song. He's like, 
<laughs> he's always singing in some sort yeah. of way. He's just like, oh man, super bad. Whenever he's no, like, no, but like in the end, and this is the end. He's this is really funny. Oh, yeah. like, oh man, I, that's away. where he like actually gets out of character. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, he gets out of playing himself. You know, Jonah Hill <laughs> lost a lot of weight. Speaking of which, Jonah Hill. Yeah, I've seen Jonah. He's a, he's actually looking a lot better. He's all muscly now. Compared to, I didn't know he was muscly, but compared to oh, like, I think so. Super bad. Yeah. I know that was super bad. Yeah, well, the movie's great. I'm Titles are better, but you know, <laughs> how, like no. his aspect. His aspect. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, did you hear about that new, uh, that new movie where it's like basically super bad but with kids, and it's produced by Seth Rogen? What is it? Is it a uh, Good Boys? Yeah, I was gonna good say boys. Bad Boys. I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of no Good Boys. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. I've been meaning to, um, and. I heard a lot of good things about it from my mom. Yeah. Um, <laughs> She's like, you should watch Super Boys. It's funny. And I'm like, okay, mom. <laughs> Super Boys? Super Boys. Like, <laughs> That's uh, something mom would say, boys. though. That's something mom would say. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll check it out. Like, honestly, like, I haven't been watching new films. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah. Um, I didn't get to watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, I've seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood at least five times. Which is unfortunate for me. Which is great for me because I've been able to analyze the whole thing on my own. I wanna, I wanna watch it. Um, I wanna watch all all of Tarantino's films like in a row. No, like what I wanted to, do, what I really wanted to do is I wanna watch all of Tarantino's films in chronological order, and they're not. And, and the thing is with his films, there's other filmmakers that like he like collaborates with that he writes for or like he gives characters to them. Like in uh, Jackie Brown, the the character uh, that Samuel Jackson plays. That character is in another is in another movie where uh, he's played by a younger version of himself in like the '60s. It's really cool. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Dude, I actually I haven't watched Jackie Brown, but I know I've like seen parts of it. Yeah. So like, there's that, and I really want. I've been meaning to like get all those films together mm-hmm. and watch it in chronological order, and I've want. I feel like if I do that, I'll be so satisfied with myself. Yeah. But I'm I'm waiting for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood to like go on DVD. That way, you can actually like. You know, have it there to do. Yeah, because, like, in order, I would start off from Django Unchained, Hateful Eight, um, like, in just in Tarantino's films, the ones that are actually, like, he directed, Hateful Eight, and then uh, Inglorious Bastards, then Once Upon a Time, and then uh, Reservoir Dogs, then Pulp Fiction, and then uh, uh, Kill Bill. Wait, no, is that right? Wait, Jackie Brown, Kill Bill. Yeah. There's another film he did. Death Proof! Death Proof? I haven't... Death Proof. Actually, that's nine films. Did not know that was one of Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, no, no. He collaborated with Robert Rodriguez in a grindhouse type of film. Oh, okay. It was really good. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can't argue that... You know, all those I actually met Robert Rodriguez. You did? Yeah. I had a conversation with him. You did where? Uh, at the Austin Film Festival. I met him, and it was really fun. Uh, well, me and me and my friend had a conversation with him. He he gave he gave us some advice. We talked to him for a good like ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah, we took a picture with him. It's really great. I'm gonna put it up right now. There you go. There you go. Right there. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Um, yeah, it's a great picture. Personally, I've never ever like talked to a celebrity or anything. You've never talked to a celebrity? No, I got he... close to T Pain. I was about like what? T Pain? <laughs> yeah, like what? Fifteen meters away from. Him? I ran into, uh, what was it, director Richard Linklater at Austin Film Festival as well. Who? Richard Linklater. He, he, he made this movie called The Bo- uh not The Boy, Boyhood. Boyhood? I haven't yeah, seen Boyhood. it. Yeah, Boyhood. He made Bernie, which is another one. A lot of Texas based films. Mm. Uh, okay. Bernie was starring Jack Black. Yeah. Jack Black? Jack Black. Bro. Jack Black goes hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does go hard. Nacho Libre. Yeah, but... <laughs> uh, I I I know that um, Tarantino wanted to direct a Marvel film. Did he? No, he we wanted to. Imagine if he did. He was gonna direct a Luke Cage movie from the nineties. Yeah. Imagine if he did that. Maybe, but yeah. that'd have been. Wait, when when did he want to do it? Like in the nineties. Yeah, that would have been okay. He wants to do a Star Trek movie. Star Trek would be pretty. I feel like it's because, like, his he, style... He has one more film left to do. You know that, right? Why? Because he says, I'm going to do ten films, and I'm going to be done. 
ten tons and he's done. Yeah, and then uh, he's gonna do whatever he wants. I, I think he, I think he'll make a film, another film he wants to, but it's ten films. He wants to do ten films and then he's done. That's sad. That makes me sad. Which means his last film, I I'm gonna have. I I swear, I want I want it to be good. Yeah, I hope it's. It better I hope be it has like, like a, a lot of the actors. Yeah, over the it better be like be like an end game sort of thing. Okay, you know so what like, I mean? when I was watching the credits for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, yeah, uh, so like there was a section in the credits labeled the gang, which is uh, uh, all the actors that he uses over the years that are his friends. Really? And they're all like labeled, like the gang is like Tim Roth. Tim Roth was cut out of the film. Uh, out of the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Really? Yeah, he's playing the butler. But uh, oh. it, it even said, it acknowledged that he was cut. Like it says, cut in parentheses. <laughs> Damn, really did it to him, huh? Yeah, right. man. Um, <sighs> let's see. Oh, <laughs> let's look at this outline paper that we wrote for this yes, episode. Yes, we wrote this because we paper. didn't. Cause it's our first episode. Can you blame us? While Daniel here is uh, reading the outline, I'm gonna talk about our sponsor. We don't have one. Actually, we do. Do we? Our Lady of Lake University. Our Lady of Lake University. Yes. <laughs> Olu. 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 Is it Olu or Olu? I think it's... Olu! If, like, Hispanic or whatever, you know, the double L, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our Lady you of got. the Lake. Who's our? What do you mean by our? Why, why, why can't it be my? The Lady people's. Lake? The people's? The people's Isn't lady. this a private school? The private people. The private people. People hey, This is our Lady of the Lake University. Individuals. Yeah. Okay, so DC, DC's future. So we did talk about... Um, if the Joker movie goes well, they're, they're doing good. But they're, right now, they're doing the Birds of Prey right now. The Birds of Prey? Yes, it's starring uh, Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn again. Oh, nice. They're doing the Birds of Prey. It's starring Margot Robbie, Ian McGregor as the, uh, as the, as the Black Mask. I'm really excited. Do you know who the Black Mask is? No. Okay, so the Black Mask is like a... He's like a gangster in the Batman universe. Oh, and he that's going to be badass. And I can already tell. And he's, he's one of the best, like... He's one of the best villains. Mm -hmm. Like, like in my opinion, he's my favorite villain. Because he's just a, a, he's just a businessman. He's the son of a businessman. And he became a gang... Uh, like a gang lord. Like a mob boss, and he wears a black mask, and he smokes, and he's really cool looking. That's I like, um, yeah. But his name is really stupid. His actual name. Is it anything similar to like Red Hood or Rorschach? Actually, the Red Hood kills him. The Red Hood kills him in uh in the in uh, Batman Arkham Arkham Knight. Mm. No, but like uh, his <laughs> the black mask's real name is Richard Sionis. Sionis. What kind Cyan of mask? Sionis. Sionis. Like Osmosis Jones? <laughs> hey, Dean. <laughs> Dude. No, no. Okay, so I met a guy. I met a guy earlier, like, last week. You know what his name was? No. Wasco Pantuni. Wasco Pantuni. Wasco Pantuni. That W-A-S-C-O-P-A-N-T-O-O-N-I. Wasco Pantuni. Dude, how do people get these kinds of names? Well, how do you? I I understand the last name. You can't have it like a say in your last name. Yeah, that's true. But Wasco, <laughs> Wasco, dude, dude, that's an original character. That's Wasco. an original. Yeah, that's an original character. Dude. And you talk to him like, hey, I'm Wasco. Hey, I'm Wasco. I'm Wasco. Pantuni. Pantuni. Wasco Pantuni. I want that. I want. I'm gonna change my name to that. That's gonna be my my, my name now. Everything directed by me, Wasco Pantuni. Wasco Pantuni. Nah, I'm sticking to Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's too bad. Daniel here is the uh, the sixth Daniel I know. I know a lot of Daniels, and I've come to the conclusion that Daniel isn't a name anymore. It's a title. It's just a you know. No, it's a title. It's a rank. It's a, it's a uh, title. It's um. It's a category. Daniel Daniel is in the Munoz category. Yes. I There's other the Daniels that are out there. It's a faction, you know. We uh, yeah. work here by blood. Um, it's a it's a clan. Yeah. It's like uh, the, like Naruto. Yeah, it is like Naruto. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Um. Well. Let's see. Do we have anything else to talk? About? Uh, the DC universe. I think we can agree that the DC like, and the Marvel universe is just gonna swap like 
relative to shows and movies, DC with the better movies. Have you seen? Wait, you haven't seen Aquaman, huh? I have not seen Aquaman. It's all right. I like Jason Momoa as Aquaman. I think he's funny. I think he, he plays the part well. I yeah. feel like um, their Aquaman's kind of like a like a like a response to Thor. I don't know about you. Yeah. Um, he's kind of goofy, but he's like. You know that like strong, you know, badass character. Who are you? Who do you think you are? I am Batman. You think you're Wasco Pantuni? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was. I wish I was Wasco Pantuni. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, I uh, I hope you guys are content. I know. hope you guys like this first episode because um, there's gonna be more to come. There's gonna be more. Hopefully, we could uh, dive uh, deeper into more better film stuff. Um, maybe a broader. We're you gonna know, have see. a. Next time we're gonna have a guest. Uh, oh yeah. In this room. Um, we'll we'll, f- we'll figure we'll it out. We'll figure it out. Uh. <laughs> but thank you for watching. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> no. Um. Next week's show is gonna be uh. It's gonna be on the Battle of the Clowns. Yeah, we're, it's titled the Battle of the Clowns. Next week is the Battle of the Clowns. Battle of the Clowns. Uh, we're gonna talk about the new Joker movie. We're gonna talk about it. The recent It movie, and we're gonna talk about the past uh, 2016, the the clown stuff that happened. Remember, ever, does everybody here remember when uh, there was clowns? Yeah, we're gonna be talking about that. The like, clown scare, like in the woods, clown scaring you. It was, it was scary. No one talks about it, so we're gonna talk about it. Yeah. All right. We're gonna be clowning around. Thank you all for watching. Um, it has been Lakeview Film Show by Outer Lady of the Lake. Um, anything else you wanna say? Um. I'm Amadeo Rivas, this is Daniel Munoz, and peace out. Peace. Thank you for watching. Come back next time.